it's Roxy welcome back to my channel so today I am volunteering at a hospital so basically I'm a teenager and there's a hospital near my house where you can volunteer over summer and I am interested in healthcare so I'm just trying to explore and see what I can learn and to see if this is what I actually want to do when I grow up I've been interested in this type of field um, ever since halfway through this past school year. I really enjoyed learning about biology and so I really like science and stuff. So I thought it'd be really cool to volunteer at a hospital and that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm preparing and this is my first day that I have a shift. There was um, an interview that I had to do and then there was a parent meeting and then there was an orientation and today is my first shift in the hospital. Is that good? My shifts are 12 to 4 on Wednesdays and Thursdays. That's what I signed up for. There are different options for like uniforms, what you could wear there. So I chose the scrub option <laughs> because I want to look like an OG, you know? They're navy blue scrubs. They had to be navy blue for some reason. I got them from Walmart. This is an extra small. This is a small. And I'm just wearing my Nike Air Force Ones because I didn't know what other shoes to wear. And they said sneakers. So I just thought I'd wear those. It looks clean with it, you know. I'm really excited. Um, my mom is about to pick me up and then we're gonna go there. Orientation was really fun. They showed us like tour of the hospital. My whole outfit on. I also have a badge, but you guys cannot see that. So the first three times that you volunteer, they stick you with someone to like show you around the hospital. So like a returning teen volunteer, or an elderly volunteer. I'll tell you guys like what happens obviously once I've done it. I'm just waiting for my mom to pick me up right now. Hey guys, it's Roxy. So I am here two months later than all of the other um, clips. <laughs> I don't know why, but I never really finished this video, so I'm finishing it now. I'm actually done with the program now. I am not gonna be volunteering anymore. So basically that was for the summer that I volunteered and the summer is coming to an end. I have school soon. I'm still gonna try and do it on the weekends once I'm ready to. They told me to just take a little break and see how I feel, like get going in school and stuff and let them know. So I would definitely like to continue. It was so much fun. So I'm just gonna explain exactly what I did while I was there. There was many things that I could do. I had many opportunities. I'm just gonna talk about some of my favorite things that I did. My favorite thing to do was clean rooms, clean like the cords and take the linens off the bed, remake the bed. Another one of my favorite things to do was restocking gloves. I don't know why, but I love that a lot. Those were my favorite things to do, but they also let us do other things if we wanted. So we could take Tellys, which is a heart monitor, to wherever they needed to go. We could take dietary meals to the patients that wanted food. We could ask patients for water or coffee if they were allowed to have that. We were able to take medical records to wherever they needed to go. We were able to escort people that needed wheelchairs. I could take specimens to the lab. I think that's pretty much it. But yeah, I thought I would give you guys a few more examples of what they would let us do. While I was at the hospital, I was helping the people in the OR, the ER, and outpatient. So those were fun. ER was my favorite and I was the only teen volunteer that really was at the ER a lot. <coughs> I got to see four traumas and I can't really talk about what exactly I got to see but I basically just got to shadow in the corner and if I felt woozy or something um, they said that it's a good idea to sit down. At first it was hard for me to watch that type of stuff um, but then I kind of got used to it and it was not big of a deal to me. I mean, it obviously is a big deal, but like, I can handle watching it, if that makes any sense. I would definitely recommend if you are interested in going into the medical field, because I think I am, I'm still thinking about what I want to be when I grow up, but the medical field is definitely like something that I've been thinking about. And even if you're not interested in the medical field, it's a great way to make new friends and have new experiences. Like it's so cool the things that you can experience at a hospital. It's just really cool to me and it's not for everyone, but if you think maybe you would like it, like I know growing up, I really enjoyed watching Grey's Anatomy. So, you know, being able to see that in person 
and like seeing those people work was really cool to me because I loved Grey's Anatomy. I actually didn't finish it. I think I stopped on season seven, but I loved it. And I actually understood some of the terms because I used to watch a hospital show like Grey's Anatomy. I made so many new friends. I learned so much stuff. Um, I had so many new experiences that I will never forget and I definitely want to continue volunteering. A big part of me doing this was to earn community hours for scholarships. Since I mentioned scholarships, um, I thought I would tell you guys a few more about it. So the scholarships that I'm going for, you have to have at least 160 or 100. I'm not sure. I have to make sure when I go back to school. But I have to have a set a number of community service hours and since I did that over the summer I was able to get 70 hours which is a lot. Some high schools they require it to graduate and some high schools don't but I'm doing it to get scholarships. I'm not sure or not if I need it to get my diploma or not. If you guys don't know I'm going to be a junior next year so I have to definitely start thinking about college and how I'm gonna be getting my scholarships. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you think you are into that type of stuff, you should definitely look at the hospitals around you so you can volunteer. It's a great way to get back to the community and earn service hours at the same time. If you like interacting with people like I do and making new friends that maybe live around you, it is such a great opportunity and I would 10 out of 10 recommend it. Before this video ends, I thought I would show you guys some pictures that I took when we had the awards ceremony that completed the session and these are just some cute pictures that I wanted to show you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Peace out, Girl Scout.